Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Final Fantasy XIII walkthrough. Uh, we are picking up the uh, Behemoth King battle from actually the last video because I failed miserably. Um, so uh, this guy uh, can be a little bit uh, of a pain in the butt. Uh, there's obviously some, some ways around it, but um, you know if you want to, you can buff yourselves up if you're or if you've got somebody with uh, access to the protect spell, that's a good way around it. Uh, otherwise, uh, you know, something like maybe a, a paradigm that's got a sentinel in it just to, uh, uh, you know, challenge and um, provoke, you know, whatever. Uh, essentially take the hits for you. Otherwise, uh, I just... Uh, I just kept everybody healthy enough. Now, uh, luckily, my characters just have enough HP where... Um, I think, I think everybody lives this time around. Uh, but, you know, the important thing for this battle is to, uh, to really make sure that, uh, Lightning's got enough HP to survive asunder. And there he goes, yeah. Drops her down to 440 health. So that was close. Uh, but anyways, you know, just, just enough HP to live. We're never gonna make it. Ugh. Not with an attitude like that, we won't. <laughs> All right, let's continue on here. <laughs> Poor Saz. Um, so here you can uh, you can save. Otherwise, uh, this this little spot right here this will actually lead you back to the. Oh, I forget now. What the, the was it? The Skywalk or something like that. So anyway, the previous area. So if you still need to get that bulwarker and um, you know targeting, basically if you still need to get the targeting, you can you can, you can go back. Um, you might need to save here. I don't know if I don't know if uh, when you actually you know swap areas there. I'm not sure if the enemies respawn or if you'd actually have to save your game and then reload. Um, if that's the case, obviously you could save your game right here uh, and then just reload and then go across. But uh, anyways. Uh, let's continue on here. We've got the what are these guys? Orabons. Nothing fancy. We've already fought these in uh, Grand Pulse. Uh, I believe they were back in the the area where you get Just the or battle. unlock the chocobos. But yeah, anyway, nothing, nothing too fancy with them. And boy, this looks like this is a fairly large group of them. Yeah, looks like four of them. <laughs> uh, so, I don't know if I brought this up. I think I have, actually. I think I brought this up in one of the other videos, but uh, at this point in the game, it's actually not the worst thing to have Lightning as your leader. Uh, and that's because now that we've unlocked the, the level 9 uh, Chrysarium, uh, she's able to use her army of one. Which uh, is a pretty pretty good ability. Um, I don't typically use it all that much, just because uh, you know the animation takes a long time, and uh, for a lot of these enemies, you just really don't need to. Um, you know, it's, I mean, the stuff dies pretty quickly, and um, you know you don't really need to be uh, working on getting that uh, stagger gauge, you know, way up high or crazy. Um, now, like for the Behemoth King, on the other hand, it may have been useful. But, um. There's some tricks that go along with it, too. And, uh, maybe. Eventually, here I'll. I'll I don't know if I actually really end up utilizing it much at, the be or at this point in the game. I guess, uh. I guess the big thing is, you know, most of these battles, you just kind of don't really need to do that stuff. Um, I feel like, uh. Haste. Eh, or auto haste. As well as like auto bravery and auto auto faith can go a long ways, but uh, there's there's some interesting uh, things that you can do, especially with uh, army of one, and that's that uh, you can start out army of one with the ravager role, and then you can actually swap to a different paradigm where she's like a commando, and that'll boost up the damage of it big time. Now, unfortunately, though, you don't then get the chain boost that you do out of the ravager roll but you know again you get the damage uh, out of the commando instead so it's really kind of 
dependent on uh, what what your goal is, I suppose, for the fight. But um, you know, again, the, there there will be times where I'll actually point that out and kind of show you guys how to do that. It probably won't be, you know, more until the end of the game. And to be honest, it's um, you know, it's not really something that you really need to to do a whole lot. Um, it's it's kind of like I, I don't know if I'd say it's like min maxing, I suppose. It kind of is. But um, you just really don't, I don't know, I don't feel like you really need to do, do that. Uh, but anyways, alright, so what do we got here? A bunch of Oribon and another Behemoth King. Uh, so this one can get a little nasty. Um... So yeah, you know, if uh, if you've noticed that the Behemoth King is a bit of an issue, it may be a good idea, you know, once again, to stick Protect on your members. Uh, otherwise, if you're using a, you know, a combination of characters that don't have uh, Protect, then uh, once the, uh, the Behemoth King stands up, at that point you may want to swap to a different paradigm, uh, you know, one that's probably got a Sentinel in it. I'd say for for instance this group, it wouldn't be so bad to have uh, Snow as Sentinel, uh, Lightning as Commando, and Vanille as Ravager at that point. Um, just because again, you know, you'll you'll be able to, to hold them or hold their attention with with Snow, and he can take the hits for you while uh, Lightning and Vanille, you know, essentially finish them off. <coughs> Uh, I decided to handle it a little bit uh, in a different way here. I went with the uh, diversity paradigm, uh, you know, just to try to get everybody back up to try to get some health back. Thank you. And uh, I think this goes fairly well, other than the fact that I'm pretty sure Vanille gets kind of crushed at the end here, but. I went for the kill as opposed to trying to stay safe. And to be honest, I mean, obviously this is extremely risky, but... Uh, and especially since this fight had the three Orban at the beginning, too. Um, so uh, to be honest, this probably wasn't the greatest idea. I was playing much more risky, I think, than I normally would. But uh, it worked out, uh, luckily for me, otherwise... I mean, to be honest, right now, uh, Lightning is in range of being one-shot, for sure. And I think maybe I just actually was kind of maybe watching a movie or something at the time. And so I started this battle and I was like, eh, whatever. And I just kept going and spamming, you know, attacks and stuff and didn't really... I mean, because look at this, everybody is extremely low. <laughs> but again, we got, got lucky, it paid off. So... Uh, anyways... I think that's the last uh, Behemoth King for the time being, anyway. And let's see, what do we have here? I think this is the Rebel Heart. Yep, there it is. Uh, the Rebel Heart, not a not a fan of that weapon. I believe that's the one that, uh, uh, with the synthesis, what is it, critical power surge. So uh, not not a not an ability that I really like. I really don't like any any of those abilities that either activate when you've got high HP or low HP just because you know you, you spend so little time at full health or at low health especially low health I think high health is a better one of the two uh, abilities but you know I, I, to be honest I just don't like either of them uh, anyways all right so we've got the this is the Amphis Bena or something like that. <coughs> yeah, alright. So we've already fought a few of these. I think these were... I mean, I'm betting on Pulse. I'm trying to remember exactly what it was. Maybe outside of uh, Tajin's Tower. Kind of like on the entrance way there. I think that's where we fought these guys at, anyway. But uh, nothing fancy here. These guys go down extremely quickly now. Just too easy. All right, five star, not too bad. Okay, 
guess I really wanted to look at this battle screen. Alright, let's move on. Uh, I think... Oh no, there is a couple more fights here. I keep keep getting ahead of myself, so I've actually, I've actually had to do the commentary for this, uh, this uh, portion of the video quite a few times. Again, I've you know, mentioned it in the last actually couple of videos here, and that's why I'm cutting these down uh, to be extremely small videos, but I'm having some problems with my uh, movie maker software here, and I, I'm not sure if this is a... This is just a corrupt file or something? I'm not sure. I don't know what happened, but we're having problems. But uh, anyways, I, you know, I keep forgetting that there's a couple of battles here with these adamantherons. And then, uh, well, oh, we're getting close, all. and I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this out. I think this ends up being like a 13 minute video. So, you know, again, normally I, I like to try to get them around a uh, half an hour or so, but Anyways, with the with the technical difficulties, it's been we have a better better idea to cut them down small and hopefully not have to redo them. Uh, but anyways, all right. So what we've got left here? There's an adamant, or there's a couple adamant rounds here as well as uh, those guys, the core core gunners or something like that. Uh, and the the kind of nice thing you know about this little area here, yeah, core defender. <clears throat> uh, is that, uh, you know, there's, I, I always like fighting the human enemies because you can get the, you know, the credit chips and send the chips, that sort of thing. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's nice to get a, it's just ni nice to be able to get stuff that you can sell for cash. Uh, as opposed to a lot of the, um, especially the organic materials, I always feel like those aren't as good as getting an organic uh, rewards, but... Anyways, here we've got the Proto Behemoth. Now, this guy is a pretty much a pushover, to be honest. He doesn't heal uh, once he stands up. And uh, unfortunately, though, he does get a buff. Uh, he buffs himself. I think he gets uh, Bravery, Protect, and maybe Shell, or it's a Haste. One of the two, anyways. But uh, he's... He, and he gets a little bit nasty once uh, once those buffs activate. But uh, again, he doesn't heal. Uh, his chain gauge doesn't reset, so none of that funny business. Uh, and then I tried to get uh, Libras off here, but it, it looked like two wasn't enough. Maybe, maybe I don't know. I don't know what's going on there, but it looked like he still had question marks for his uh, for his rare drop or something. Yeah, it was haste. So protect. Haste and uh, bravery. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna finish this guy off and then uh, grab the the treasure spear that uh, is actually right outside this battle. And uh, it's actually got one of. Uh, I, I think it's actually in my in my opinion. I think it's, or I would say that it's uh, my second favorite weapon for hope. Uh, and we'll actually probably discuss that in the next video. But uh, anyways, I gotta cut it here. So this guy was helpful, and I uh, hope you join me for more. All right, thanks for watching.